Oh, there's a train just sitting right there in front of where I want to go. So, of course, we gotta go this way. Taking the long route. Okay, let's see what we have to do here. Okay, so you've gone that way. I'm not gonna make it if I go that way. I already know I'm not. So let's go this way. Yep, there was no way. No way that was gonna happen. So let's go hanging out over the fiery pits of lava. It's not really Hades or that. that. Yeah, there's definitely extra spirit tracks that can go down here. No surprise. I want the fastest route. The question is, how many pieces of ice do they need? Okay, we should be good. It should be a straight route from here. Yep. Just follow this home. Well, Goron home, anyway. It's not home home. <sighs> that train is following... Oh, as if I didn't have enough going on. There we go. Okay. <sighs> train cars are no longer an issue. Just gotta get through the cave. How much ice do they need? Well, hopefully it's more than five and less than ten. Something like that. No, 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 no. losing precious time because I wasn't paying attention. I think I got 10. Phew, looks like we made it somehow. Why are we doing such... No, 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 that's, that's not Princess like to say. Oh, I really want to know what she said. <laughs> Kagoron! There you are. What is it, young stranger? I have it. Oh, wonderful! We can use it to chill the lava that's separating us from the village! Come on, everybody, help me move this off the train! Yay! Everyone's happy. Looks like there's still some lava left over. Thank you! Now you should go meet the Elder. His house is at the most northern part of the village. Okay. Hello there! Hello there where? You? As soon as the path to the village was restored, everyone went home! Boo on them! You see, there's one place left that is blocked off. One very important place! I want to go home too. Will you please bring more of the cold stuff? Oh, okay, I can do that. Oh, I just noticed that your train is different. Does that mean I should be calling you Captain from now on? Well, like I was saying, there's still lava here, Captain Link. So we will need ten blocks of the cold stuff. Can you do it? Okay. I knew you'd do it. I can tell that you have a soft spot for us Gorons. Okay then, Captain. Please bring us ten blocks of the cold stuff. Thank you. Check these places out real quick. Sky is raining dangerous objects. Please be careful. 
will be careful. Hey, if you're going to see my gramps, go to the most northerly house. I will check with the other Gorons and go up after you. Tell them I am okay. Okay. Most northerly. It's probably the big one. Oh man, you an old looking Goron. Hmm? Who are you? The Elder certainly is imposing, isn't he? If we want him to help us, you'd better make a good impression. Gramps, Gramps! Oh, Gramps. Oh ho, my grandchild! Are you alright? We were all so worried about you. This boy fixed the path to the village, Gramps. That is how I can make it back home. Is that so? Yes, I did. Oh, so you are the human Kagoron spoke of. I am the elder of this village. Thank you for your help. Now you are like a Goron to us all. It seems like Link becomes a Goron like everywhere he goes. I have heard why you want to see me. You want the secret that has been trusted only to the Goron elders, yes? Well, on this special occasion, I will allow you to pass. Fire Sanctuary is literally in the back of my house. I wish I had a better backyard, though. Everyone's backyard is dangerous. This is what I have learned. Give me my whip. Get over here. Oy. Is thing? Nothing I can deal with. Whoop! Ha ha! A bridge. And another bridge. Oh, you know what? Since there's no time limit. Break in the pots! <gasps> yes! I'm a demon fossil. Woodheart! Demon fossil! Okay. Ooh. Tiny. Oh, no you don't. You stay as far away from me as humanly possible. Ooh, another war. War. Wood heart. Get back, stay back. I will kill you with this whip. I don't want this thing anywhere near me ever. Fire sanctuary. It is raining fire. Thank you. I don't trust these things to be alive! Whoa! Okay. Okay, these are now things that I get to deal with. Wonderful. What a wonderful life I live. Huh. Aha! Good thing I did that. Do you mind? I mean, obviously you don't mind, but... Ah! No! What are you doing? I am not food! Yeesh! That was a... That was a thing I just had to deal with. Okay. More bridges. Good. Very good. Ah. <sighs> My 
word. Just wanted to see if there was something over there. There's not. Ooh. Mine. Pirate necklace. Arr. Stamp station. The most important. Hop. What have we got here? Opening the door of friendship. Once upon a time, two men fell in love with a beautiful woman. One man was popular and always the center of attention, but all he cared about was the beautiful woman he had fallen in love with. Unfortunately for him, the woman only had eyes for the other man. The battle for the woman's love grew and sent sparks hot enough to melt stone, but eventually friendship shone between the men like a light, uniting the pair. It was as if a door had been opened. Okay. So... Everyone's looking at this guy, except he's looking at this one, who's looking at this one. And they're looking at that one. But a light between the warring two would be here. Uh, what's the light one? Birds. There it is. Okay. I to turn that on. Ta-da! The door has opened. Hey there! Excuse me, are you the guardian of this realm? Anjin told us about you. So you've arrived at last, boy. And you too, Zelda of Hyrule. My name is Embrose, and I am indeed this realm's guardian. On behalf of the Fire Realm, let me extend a hearty, hearty welcome. Wow, he certainly is peppy, isn't he? You know, the Locomos are pretty unique people, and Embrose is no exception. You should look people in the eye when you're talking to them. Oh, I I I'm sorry. <laughs> she hide. You need to make the other person feel what you're saying. But I digress. In case you're wondering, yes, I know who you are. You're here to restore the spirit tracks. Good answer. Good posture and volume. You remind me of myself, boy. And I'm very impressed with the courage it took to make it here. Now, in order to restore the lost spirit tracks, I need your help. Let's do this. Okay. <sighs> All right, I think I got that. Honestly, the hardest part is making sure that the my breath goes into the right spot. Oh, good. I didn't think I got that, actually. <laughs> Whew. He's a good drummer. Good for him. performance yet, Link. Come on, let's make our way to the Fire Temple. Thank you so much, Imbros. Well done indeed. Just one thing before you go. The mountain's rife with danger, so talk to the people at the village before you go. 
Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Let's head back. Looks like a prid. Oh, phew. I thought it was gonna land on the bridge. Just hop. Okay. We'll grab this. Ta da! Jamming session done. Now I never have to meet again. <laughs> Dragon scale, which is not again. No! I hate them! Why am I not allowed to slash these things? Oh my gosh, get this out of my life! I am upset. Oh, it appears everything went well. You must be quite the musician. We go directly to the fire. T oh, not sure. I see. Well, at least try to remember this. There is a gate to the fire temple that is protected by three locks. But some mysterious monster stole all the keys! Without getting all the keys back from the monsters, you can't open the doors. Did you write? I'm not writing it down, but yes, fine, sure. The people of the mountain village know a lot m about the monsters. Go ask them for advice. My gramps always said the mountains were dangerous, even for adults. Be careful out there. Okay. Uh, we'll start up here. The monsters on the mountain don't like a certain noise. The noise goes like this. One short noise, then one long noise. Like, Gongoron! I don't know what sound that is, but it works. Just don't forget now. Well, I only have one noise I can make on a train, so... That's actually pretty useful. I'm going up here, because I saw treasure, and I want it. You guys don't mind if I steal all your treasure, right? You don't need it. I technically don't need it, but oh well. Okay. Anything else I need to know? There's nothing in here. Oh, I haven't talked to you yet. I hear the monsters on that mountain do not like big noises. I'm not sure what noise though. Maybe you should imitate animals they don't like. I don't know what animals they don't like. Actually, I tried to get rid of the monsters on that mountain myself, but they are all big cowards. They are only fast when they run away. Do not do anything fancy like try to get behind them. Just hit them straight on. That's what I needed. Okay. First thing we're going to do is get that ice. Because it's right down the mountain. Let's be careful. Indeed. Off we go! Uh, the... That place there, on the, uh... Place I haven't gone yet. I think that's a minigame of some kind, and I can't... I don't think it opens until after the Fire Temple is done, so... I'll need to wait on that. No rabbits, which is just fine. I also need to remember to stop back at Goron Village after the fire temple, because I still haven't gotten my stamp. Gosh darn it, stamps are important. For my own personal amusement.
Wait, you're going that way? Well, if you're going that way, I'm going to let you go that way. Because I don't want to have to deal with you the entire way. As you were. Oh, hi. Bye. Okay. Whew. Huh. And that take us right to here. I'm back! Oh, back for more of the premium mega ice! It's gonna run you a full hundred rupees. Okay. Thank you very nice. Thank you very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, why are you still fine? I'm gonna do it this way. That way I know I don't have to deal with you I would love to have a way to just blow these guys off the tracks that would be that would be wonderful But unless I get like some kind of super cannon don't think that's happening. So much better. Just take this all the way over. Move on with my life. Kind of want to know where this portal goes. I say, if there's one major complaint I have about the overall setup. It's very back heavy. Like now that I have the the freight car, I can do everything that is required. But it's only really now that people really start asking me for stuff. I suppose I could have been traveling to the different places back and forth and seeing if people wanted to be taken places, but for the most part, it's not really until you get the freight car that it's finally like all of the different stuff that you have for side quests, essentially, is open to you. And so, by that point, you're pretty much already done with all of the locations. There's no real need to go back there unless you are specifically trying to find stuff to do. Like, there, there's a whistle there. Obviously, I'm supposed to be able to take someone over here. I don't think I've ever, in all of the playthroughs I've done, actually done something like that. So... It's... It's like, why? Why would I even bother? Is there something to matter? I got it. What a go-getter! There we go. Good work, Captain! I am a big fan of yours! And now I am full of grateful feelings! Have a Force Gem! Yay! Ta-da! 
wonder where that one goes. Great, I cannot wait to start loafing around at home. I'm sure you are. Home sweet home. I love it so much, I might never go outside again. <sighs> oh boy. How little he knows. There we go. Alright. We got what we needed. Let's get out of here. Let us go, but let us be careful. Okay, so, this is going to be... Fun. What the- Whoa! Hi! 